We are in the home stretch. Loretta's got the countertop getting painted. I'm laying the new floor in. And then we just gotta move furniture in here. And it's, it's finally done. It has been a long summer, but in the end, it's all worth it. We're more and more happy with it, the more and more completed it gets. So I'm just gonna get this floor laid in here today. And then hopefully we can start moving some furniture in here and make this really look like a finished up camper. Doug talked about how we are painting the counters for the top where the TV and the new entertainment center is gonna be to try to match it to look like the counters that are already in the kitchen. And he bought a kit, countertop paint refinishing. Here's the kit. It's actually been pretty cool. He bought it on Amazon, so we'll make sure that we have the link in the description for you. But last night I came out and I painted, you can see, everything black. Three separate pieces, like my boxes. That's my table, nice tabletop there. Um, and it came with the little directions and it's like paint everything black. It, this kit came with everything. It came with the, the roller stick. It came with the rollers. It came with every single paint that you need. It came with the sponge. Basically it said paint everything in the black first and then you go and you do um, coat 2A, 2B, 2C. Um, but everything, it's got everything. Clear coat, the black paint, my sponge little paintbrush, my rollers, and then all of the paints. So this one's 2A, so we do that one first with the sponge. 2C, so that'll be three, but here's 2B. I didn't think you needed to see how to roll everything with black paint. However, we're gonna go through and do some 2A sponging. And I thought that might be interesting. We'll see how it goes, because I really have no idea what I'm doing. For this stage, we just poured our paint into the pan. It came with one big sponge, it says to cut it up. It says that we want this coat to be light and scattered to dip our sponge into the paint. I'm gonna try to wipe some of that off on there. And here goes nothing. And we're gonna do this over the whole thing. I would suggest making sure you turn your sponge so you don't have the same pattern over and over. So this is my finished product. You can see some of the spots are darker than others and it's really just sponged on there, really, really light. But um, we, I made sure to do the sides because they're gonna be exposed when everything gets put together. But uh, So we had three pieces, all done. That's the end of this piece of the project. Now I have to let this dry before we move on to the next one. It's 8 a.m. Saturday morning. We have today and tomorrow to get this thing out the driveway <laughs> done. Because Monday I work a late night. Doug might have time to uh, get some stuff done, but we're not banking on it. Tuesday we need to pack, and Wednesday morning we are leaving to go to Hershey. So it is 8 a.m. I still have two more coats of sponging to do on here, plus then the clear coat. Each sponging coat says it takes about an hour to dry. It's humid today, it's damp outside, it's supposed to rain, so I'm praying, getting this done at eight, then I'll do maybe my second coat or the third coat at 10, and the final finish, the gloss high, you know, the high gloss clear at the end, maybe noon, and that we could possibly have it hang, you know, have the counters done and in place by dinner time tonight. Fingers crossed. The can that says 2B, we're gonna pour this in, grab another chunk of our sponge and get to work doing that. Not really, I don't, I'm not disappointed in the way that any of it looks. I just can't wait to see how it all comes together. Cause when all is said and done with all of these layers of, like the first layer had a lot of gray in it. This one is a lot more white. Um, it's going to cover it and we're not going to see a lot of the black at the end. So I'm really curious how it's going to come out at the end. Almost done with round two. All right, that's that. Now we wait. Up to two, see? Last chunk of sponge. Everything's dry. I ran a little late. It's already 11 o'clock. Things didn't dry as quickly as I was hoping this morning. So. Um, hopefully the clear coat will just have to wait. We can, you know, wait for that to dry overnight and install this tomorrow, but um, we'll see, we'll see. The sun's coming out, it's getting warmer out. Um, 
Maybe it'll be dry on time so that we can still do this at dinner time. All right, two o'clock, back on somewhat of a schedule. Sun is out, it's pretty warm out. Uh, the humidity is burning off for the day, so that's nice. Everything's drying pretty quickly. And we are up to the final stage of these counters. So I'm still hopeful that we can get them installed by dinner time. Um, but came over to my box, handle included, roller that they want you to use included. And according to our container, we are up to stage 3A. And this is the final stage. It even tells you right on there, roll this one on, the other one says sponge on. Um, but that's it. This is it. We're going to clear coat everything and let it dry, and that'll be it. It doesn't look too bad. Something different. We'll see how it all dries and looks installed. So as I have told everybody, I am not a seamstress. I have no idea how to sew. As far as I'm concerned, that's some fence work for the tailor. But for the box balances, we really wanted to fancy it up a little bit, and I say that lightly. We wanted it to make make it. We wanted to make it fun. So I found this really awesome material that just speaks Doug and Loretta. It's a whole roadmap. Um, so we're gonna see what we can do. I pre-cut and measured a bunch of pieces, and the plan is really to kind of fold it in and use the upholstery stapler to staple it all into place. We'll see how it goes. We're not worried about it being over and having too much because all of this is area that you really don't see when the blinds are on. We do want to center it a little bit better, but. So I was using the upholstery stapler, which is great for these pieces because this is a little bit wider. But when I tried to fold this piece up and staple this down, it's poking right through. The staples are too long. They're poking right through the front. Um, I did find some fabric adhesive, so we're going to give that a shot, but I'm still going to need something to hold it in place. I may have to just pin it adhesive, let it dry, and see where it goes from there, but um, we're going to try an office stapler and see how that works. That may work. Just to hold it in place to get the adhesive on there, that may work. Now for the sides, I planned to fold them nicely. Kind of like wrap, wrapping a Christmas present. And I'm not, again, I'm not worried about having excess right now. We can always trim. There goes nothing. All right, let's see what we got here. You're gonna see it before me. What do we think? actually really cute. Voila! Your project's going better than mine. We have to do some, I have to clean it up. I only got one staple in to hold the adhesive, but it's not bad. Yeah, no, I it's like it. It's pretty cute. Yeah. I think it's fun, which was the bigger deal. Like, it's, And we've been to all those states. I know. <laughs> I learned a little lesson. It was easier to do the leg part of the window valances before doing the top, because you have to tuck this fabric in underneath I'm sure there's an easier way. I probably could have taken it apart and done each of the pieces. However, I didn't. So we're working with what we got. It was easier to do the leg pieces and then go on and do the top. Um, just kind of stapling as we go. Um, if it ships, it fits. Get it up there, get it on and, and get it going. Um, the first staple seems to be the hardest one for me to put in every time because I'm afraid to put it in. So on this one, you saw, just got that top one in there, and now we can go from there. You just need to make sure that your pieces wrap around all the way to both sides. I miscut this one, the first one, so we have a lot of extra, and that's fine because it's better than being too short, which is what I did the first time. We interrupt this craziness over here to bring you a special <laughs> news bulletin. Last friggin' piece of flooring. <laughs> Carry on. So, as you guys can see, we're in a completely different location than we have been the last couple weeks. So we made it to Hershey. That means we're done. Camper remodel is finished. RV renovation is over. I know you guys are dying to check it out and we're gonna bring that to you in like three more episodes. 
No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go show you right now. You guys ready to check it out? Come on. Come on. Bag it up. Come on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. So first, new floors. All new. All carpets gone. All gone. All carpet is gone. Put down new flooring. Come on up here. You may remember our chairs used to be here. Our recliners. Now this is our entertainment center that Doug built for us. Televator is still with us. Thank goodness. And it goes down flush. So now when you put the televator down, you've got a nice big countertop you can use for bringing all your stuff in. That we did a faux finish on. Yep, Loretta did the faux finish work on that. Pretty well matches the kitchen. So we didn't have to change anything with that. Um, these are the valances that Loretta refinished. It came out so great, didn't it? And I gotta be honest, I'm not, I've said before, I don't sew, that's a four letter word. I would staple the hem of my pants when they would fall. We've got our brand new Amazon futon, much more comfortable than the camper couch that we so have. So much more comfortable and cup yeah, holders. You actually have cup holders because there was absolutely nowhere to put a drink None. down in this living room before. Um, on the other side of the camper where the entertainment center used to be, we now have our new recliners also from Amazon. Not power recliners, so now when you're right. boondocking, you can actually recline your recliner right. without having to fire up a generator just to lean back in your chair a little bit. End tables on either side. <laughs> now we've got access to our nice, big, beautiful window, so we can sit here in the recliner and be like, oh, look, Campground Chronicles going on. This guy doesn't know how to park his trailer and grab our beer and just watch it out there. Um, we did that with our buddy John right across over here. Really, we went out and helped them get in there. Um, just, just busting chops, John. Um, this Fine. slide we took the other couch out of. Loretta got some furniture for there, so a little nice little reading corner, a little cozy reading nook, with our Amazon cabinet here, which was good because we took out all of the storage here. Oh, you see your toys, huh? What is that? Um, we took out all of our storage in here, so we needed to have some kind of cabinet space. So it's nice that we have that there now. Um, yeah. Yeah, and you guys remember yeah. an episode or two ago, I was saying how we blew a measurement by an eighth of an inch, how we blew a measurement by an eighth of an inch. That's how nice and tight our slide floors are to the main floor. Missed it by an eighth of an inch, but we were able to remedy that. Uh, and I think overall, you guys can see this came out phenomenally. It's a lot brighter in here. Than it ever used to be i mean just look at the comparison to the light level in the kitchen which we haven't finished painting yet uh, but we did make it to hershey we redid the ac vents which you know thanks to our friends at rv airflow for that that duct work oh my adapter gosh, it came out so amazing uh, and the and the difference in the in the air circulation here is amazing yeah. so it's worth the money it is absolutely worth the money I want to take a minute and point out our colors in here too. So we did a wall, the walls are called Swiss Latte. So they're not actually white, they're a little off white with some beige in there. And then we've got two different color blues going on. We've got this one, which is Catalina. And then it's easiest to see, I think on the roof, on the ceiling here. So I took our straps here and this is Pitter Patter was the name of that color, but it's a nice faint blue. Um, and matched really nice and mm -hmm. kind of tied everything together without just whitewashing it yeah we wanted it to feel homey comfortable cozy but bright brighter and, but not hospital white yeah it feels like a smile in mm -hmm. here like that's all i keep saying i absolutely yeah. we love it love every it. time we walk in here it's comfortable to sit in here now yeah. it's got a nice view of the entire camper so when you're towing a 40 foot long freaking camper yeah. you can actually see it uh, and you guys remember we said we were taking the heater vent out of the floor, so now there's no heater vent in the floor here collecting crap from outside. So now it's down Underneath here the under the fireplace. Warms up the whole living room nicely. Like this is this is fantastic. And fireplace is right there, so you can sit here and. I just love it. Absolutely every love day, it. Every so. day, I just say, every, what we finished, an, an hour, hour and two minutes before our <laughs> self-imposed deadline. <laughs> It was 8 p.m. Sunday. I was calling it quits. Whatever we got to, we got to. Whatever we didn't, we didn't. I didn't care if we were sleeping on the floor in here. Tools got to go down. 6.58, it was finished, and we were moving back in. Yeah. So, on that note, <laughs> we're back on the road again. So, season four is going to be much more interesting, <laughs> or at least for us, anyway. You guys might have found season three pretty interesting. I know... Look, if I were watching this, I would have found it interesting. You would have said, you guys are a train wreck. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Right. Are you going to make your deadline? Right. 
even our friends were like, are they going to be ready? Yeah, well, that's part of having your own show on HGTV. <laughs> you got to have a deadline that you might not hit. So, Joanna Gaines, if you're watching, our, you did it! RV Reno with Doug and Loretta, it's waiting to happen, we're here. Really, I will never do this again. Not on my own RV anyway, but I will renovate yours. Just give us a call. Next is the schoolie. <laughs> we'll see you guys in season four. Love you. Have a great season. Let Mwah. us know what you think. Mwah.